welcome. Just a little update. I definitely want to get in some more of this storm above the rank. I think I want to run, uh, well, at least a season. A campaign would be probably too, just too much, even though, ah, oh, man, I'm trying to think. Well, I don't know. I have to think about it. But I think I'll at least start with a season, and then I think we can move on from there. Uh whole campaign of like 60 missions or something like that would be quite a bit uh the other thing i want to do i think i want to run a full campaign of this yes yes uh solo botting and um at some point because i haven't seen anyone really youtube do a full blow by blow uh, campaign of this, so man, I think I'll like to try to fill the void. I might have to do a search here to see if that's actually the case. Someone probably has done it since then. Uh, that'll all happen in the next uh, week or two, probably two weeks as I get settled into my new digs. Um, but that's it for now. Instead, I'll leave uh, with a little signal boost here, and that is for... David V. Stewart. I'm always on the lookout for off-the-beaten-path authors, you know, movies, video games, and things like that. Uh, I am not endorsed or sponsored by him or anything like that. I just, uh, I think he deserves a little more um, readership. And uh, this one, The City of Silver. Let me turn on my narrating voice. Charlotte and Roan are being hunted. They flee from the sadistic and power-hungry Count Catanel, who will stop at nothing to see Charlotte, his unwilling wife, return to him whole. Roan, a solitary mercenary from a tribe of apostates, feared and hated for their ability to use magic, is her only hope for escape, but all she can promise him is riches in some indeterminate future. Those who hunt her are rich and powerful beyond belief. Reaching the coast, escape is close at hand, but so are the agents of the enemy. Within the walls of the decadent Masala, the Silver City, murder, theft, and betrayal lurk in every shadow and under every rotten eve. Will Roan's guile and cleverness be enough to get them out, or will his honor break before then? Guns and swords may not enough may not be enough to save them. Okay, I finished this book here, and I really enjoyed it. It's only uh, 121 pages, but uh, he's a good writer, and so he, he's able to pack a lot of punch in a short amount of time. Uh, I found myself. It's a fantasy book. Here we got a little map of the world here. Uh, fantasy with uh, gun with uh, flintlocks, apparently. And uh, yeah, it's um like a few like it's said in the description. This is like a fugitive episode, and you can almost uh, think of this as kind of it's short enough that it's episodic. Like you could this be a Netflix series or something like that. And uh, you know you're doing all right when you re you'll read a chapter. And you'll finish one, and you'll be like, mm, I think I want to get into the next one. And I found it. So it's nice and compelling. The action moves along nicely. Interesting characters, even the villains. They're not cardboard cutouts. The 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 um the main protagonists have, uh, you know, weaknesses and powers, and they're not overpowered, as we see so often here. Uh, check out his other stuff. He does science, uh, science fiction. He also does a little horror. Um... He also has an interesting... Where's that self-help book? Yeah, it's over here. I'll go ahead and plug that while I'm thinking of it. Keys to Prolific Creativity. Unlock your inner master and boost your creative output. Yeah, it's also a short book here, too. It's, just, it's got like a time management uh, book right when you get down to it. It's, it's, it's good. I actually, actually, one quote in here, because I'm a musician, and uh, one of his quotes was um, uh, talking about being professional. He says... Um, Amateurs jam, professionals rehearse, <laughs> and I, I like that. One. I like that one a lot. Okay, but um, also he has a YouTube channel, and um, uh, it's it's pretty quite good. That's how I got turned on uh, to him. Is uh, and he has a video called the phases of IP corporate ownership, and it's kind of like if you're a person that notices that as mega corporations take over your favorite franchises, the quality starts declining. And he has an interesting analysis of that. So I'm going to post, post a link on that below. Like I said, I'm not endorsed or sponsored by him. If I'm ever sponsored, it's unlikely. If I'm ever sponsored or endorsed by someone, I'll fully disclose that. No problem there. But anyway, 
David, uh, let's put it back out here. David V. Stewart, check it out. And thanks for watching.